In this video, we are going to learn how you can send videos to Telegram channel from Google Sheets. So the idea here is that whenever you are going to add a new video URL to your Google Sheet, automatically the same video should get posted on your Telegram channel. For that, you need to integrate your Google Sheets with Telegram. So here your trigger application would be Google Sheets and your action application would be Telegram. So how you can integrate both these software applications using Pabli Connect, for that you need to come to my screen. To integrate Google Sheets with Telegram, first we need to log into pabbly, pabbly.com. This is the website of Pabbly and here we can find two options, sign in, sign up free. If you are a new user, you have to just click on sign up free button and you can create your own account in just two minutes and you are going to get free task every month. If you are already a user of Pabbly Connect, simply sign in. From the All Apps section, access Public Connect. This is the dashboard of Public Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that, click on this plus sign Create Workflow. Now here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as Send videos to Telegram channel from Google Sheets. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on Create. Now we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this particular use case, we want that whenever we add the details in our Google Sheet, automatically using those details, a new video should get posted on your Telegram channel. For that first, we need to integrate Google Sheets with Pabli Connect. So open this trigger window and here choose the application name as Google Sheets. Select the trigger event as new or updated spreadsheet row. Now here we can see a webhook URL and some instructions. So by following these instructions, you can set up the webhook in your Google Sheets. So I'll just copy this webhook URL from here and I'll take you to the Google Sheet which I have already created named Telegram Post. And here I have already entered a title and along with that I am entering the video link. Okay. So now we are going to integrate this particular Google Sheet with Pabli Connect. For that, click on Extensions. Click on add-ons and click on get add-ons. Now it will take us to Google Workspace Marketplace. Here we have to search for Pabli Connect Webbooks. Now you have to install Pabli Connect Webbooks on your system. As you can see that it is already installed. I'll just close this window. But remember after installing Pabli Connect Webbooks on your system, you have to refresh your Google Sheet. I repeat, after installing Pabli Connect Webbooks on your system, you have to refresh your Google Sheet. Now again come to extensions and this time we have to come to Pabli Connect Webhooks and click on Initial Setup. Now here it is asking for the webhook URL and the trigger column. So here we have to paste the webhook URL that we have copied from Pabli Connect. And now the trigger column is required. The trigger column will be a final data column on which if the data is added, the whole of that true data will be sent to the webhook URL. So here you can see that I have the data in column A and B. So here I want the data to be captured till column B. So my trigger column will be column B over here. Say so if you have the data till column G and you want the data to be captured till column G, then you have to give the trigger column as column G over here. Okay. Now let's click on send test. Test data sent successfully. Okay. And now let's click on submit. Setup configured successfully. Let's close this window. Again, we have to come to extensions, Pabli Connect Webhooks, and this time we have to click on send on event. So why we are going to select this option just because next time whenever you're going to add a data to this particular Google Sheet, automatically Pabli Connect is going to capture the details. We don't have to link these details again and again. So make sure you have a tick mark on the send on event option over here. Okay. Now let's move back to Pabli Connect. And when we scroll down, we can find the responses received and all the details of the Google Sheet are captured over here. We can find the title, we can find the video link over here and even we can find the spreadsheet details are also captured. So now we want that using these details automatically a new video should get posted on your Telegram account. For that we are going to integrate Telegram with Pabli Connect. So let's come to this action window and here choose the application name as Telegram. Select the action event as send a video. Click on connect. Click on add new connection. And now here it is asking for the token. So here the instructions are also mentioned how you can find the token. For that, I'll just take you to my Telegram web application over here. And here we are going to search for bot father. Now here we have to just click on restart bot. And here we have to just type slash new bot. 
All right, a new bot. How are we going to call it? Please choose a name for your bot. So here we have to give a name to the bot. So let us give it as Google Sheets Integration. Okay, let's enter it. Good. Now let's use a username for your bot. It must end in the bot like this. For example, if the bot name is Tetris, then we have to give it as Tetris underscore bot. So here let us give the name as Google Sheets automation underscore bot done congratulations on your new bot you will find it at this particular address okay and here we have got the token so i'm just going to copy this token and i'll be just pasting it over here and now let's click on save to create a connection and now the telegram bot is connected to public connect now here we have to give the chat ID. So let's move to Telegram account once again. And here you can see that I have already created a group name Pabli team where I have four members over here. Pabli connect, dummy name, demo name, testing name. So first of all, we are going to add our bot in this particular group by clicking on this plus sign, add users. Okay. And here we can find our bot Google Sheets automation that is Google Sheets integration. We have to just select it. And now we have five members in this particular group and our bot is added to the group. Okay. Now we are going to just give the admin rights to this particular bot. Okay. Which is not possible from my telegram web. So I'm just going to pause my video and I'm just going to do it from my mobile phone. It's quite easy. You have to just open your group. You have to select the bot and click on promote to admin. Okay. Now here it is asking for the chat ID. So we can find the chat ID over here in the URL. Okay. That is from dash 8040. So I'm just going to copy this chat ID from here and I'll be pasting the same over here. Okay. And now here it is asking for the caption file ID URL. So we have already got all these details from our Google Sheets over here. So now we are going to map these details. Okay. For mapping, simply click it over here. Come to the trigger response and from the drop down, you have to select the title or the caption. And here we have to map the URL. And here the instruction is also mentioned, pass a URL to get a video from the internet, pass a file ID to send a video that exists on Telegram servers. Note, enter only downloadable video URLs over here. The example is also given. So your file ID or your URL should be in this particular format. Okay. Now here I'm just going to select the pass mode as HTML. And now let's click on save and send test request. Okay, and here we can see the response is received. It means our video is shared on our Telegram group. So let's check it. Okay, and here we can find the title as for bigger blazes. And here we can find the video. Okay, here you can see that the video is getting played. So in this way, we can see that our integration is working fine. Okay, let's move back to Public Connect and let us save this workflow first. Data save successfully. Okay. Now, as we have set up an automation, this is a one time process. Next time, whenever you're going to add the post details to your Google sheet, automatically a video will get posted into your telegram channel. So now we are going to check this in the real time that whether our integration is actually working fine or not. For that, I'll just move to my Google sheets once again. And here I'm just going to enter a new title and a new video link. So I've entered the details, the title as for bigger joy rights. And here I have added a video link. Now we have to check our telegram channel. We have to just refresh it. Okay. And here we can see a new video posted for bigger joy rights. And here we can find a new video. Okay. So in this way, we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine. So let's move back to public connect. And now I'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell, whatever we have done till now. So first we have created an integration between Google Sheets and public connect. So that whenever you add a new data to your Google Sheet, automatically the details are captured in Public Connect. And then using those details, we have shared the same video on our Telegram bot. And in this way, we have learned that how we can send videos to Telegram channel from Google Sheets using Public Connect. Thank you. So not just these software applications, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business using Pabli Connect. In case of any queries, you can visit our Pabli forum. To check the pricing details of Pabli Connect, you can visit this particular URL. Also, the link of Pabli Connect and this workflow is available in the description box. You can clone the same workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.